Uh-oh. Got one ready. Ain't that pretty? So from a strawberry plant here. I got two more over here. But I'm gonna give them another day or so. Uh-oh, something ate that one. That's kind of a small one there. Oh, well, we got a big pretty one right there. We're gonna give it a little more time too. Uh, just kind of wanted to show y'all what I harvested. Yep, just ate that strawberry. That yeah, was fabulous. So, yesterday, I had some garlic that was, uh, this is elephant garlic. That's one that I missed when it came up this year. And, uh, made a bowl, kind of got some babies. Maybe I'll plant the little babies on the side, but this was, I had a clove of garlic that I missed. Not a clove, but I, I, I had a garlic that I missed. I separated all. It was it was small. It was like that, and I separated all out the all the little tiny bulbs and planted them. And um, this is what I got. Uh, some of these are just like one bulb, like these here. They're just one, but these have a few bulbs inside there. They were all drying up and giving up, so that's that. Uh, in here, cauliflower's got a little dirt on it, but I'm gonna wash it. I harvested quite a bit of cauliflower. This bag is full. It's at least five pounds. Um, you can tell it was starting to split and kind of bolt on me, so I went ahead and pulled it. But I got one more cauliflower plant I'm gonna pull. I left, I left the seat in. I left this one in, it's not that big. I'm gonna leave it and see if it gets any bigger. May or may not, but I got this one over here. It's really pretty. You can see what size it is. So this one's coming out and I'm gonna add it to that over there. I did harvest off my poke salad, harvested off of it, and um, got a nice little harvest. Gave half of it to my neighbor, cause he likes poke salad as well. Let me show you the other poke salad plants that I harvested off of. Look at these, uh, these are, um, I haven't tasted them, I don't know what they are. I wanna say they're laxed in progress because they're growing much different than the Wando growing much different they got almost as tall as me and then started just like profusely putting out flowers i mean they were here's the top of the cage and then they just like because as you can see there's the top of the cage and they're all the way up here i'm five eight and it's taller than me so um if I had to guess, the, it's, this is about five foot ten from the ground. Now, granted, it's planted in a container, so it's not all the way from the ground, but I've never had peas to do this like this, but I haven't tasted them. There are peas just kind of all around, but I've never had them get this tall. This is the same variety. It did the same thing. Got as tall as the cage, and then just started putting out flowers that one too the aphids tried to slow it down but it didn't work and here's another reason why i kind of don't think it's wando because of the way the uh the the peas are forming but i got some this is kentucky wonder here i think pretty sure start that tendril going around there and once it starts going around there to climb the cage too. Once you just kind of put them up there, they'll go ahead and start because this cage, I haven't even drilled the holes in the tire yet. Oh, great. I ripped that off. 
gardening fumbles. Anyway, it's all right. This got broke off. Once you see it, had, it had wrapped all the way up to there. But it's all good. Uh, I'll drill that in today. It'll go back. I got more beans, but I wanted to show you guys. Let's go back here behind the house. I got a lot of vines to cut on. These vines with these thorns, I freaking hate them. Um, these back here, see, I just, I pretty much picked this poke salad there. Um, that's another one over there. The one that I didn't pick was that one. Um, I got a little one. That's one there. But um, I also wanted to show you guys instead of me toting water, I got a pump now. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, I can use the pump instead of, uh, Instead of carrying water like a Hebrew slave, my backyard looks like a jungle. I don't know. I should mow. Had a big limb fall. I heard that limb when it fell, too. I was in the house, and I was like, what was that? That's a big limb. Whoa. That's my foot to kind of show you. So, stuff does fall out here. Um, this is poke salad as well. Starting to get the little berries at the top. Um, jungle. I mean, there's so many vines back here, it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna pretty much weedy <coughs> all this to the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. But I have one more thing I want to show you. Look, look at all this stuff. All this stuff is waist high. It's ridiculous. But it's my fault. It's okay blackberries I um that's one but uh yesterday I came out here and I had a nice little snack I don't think there'll be any ready that fast this one's ready that's one I clearly missed but oh oh uh oh no, I didn't miss some. Something happened. I got some that are ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I missed some, y'all. There's no way there's this many ready this fast. I had to have missed some. I'm gonna leave that one, it's kind of purple. I like to get them when they're all the way black. That's kind of purple. You know? The camera will really show me how black these are. And these do have thorns. So yeah, generally, I get pretty scratched up. I pick these but you can just see and see they hide under leaves see because I picked this line yesterday and I thought I got them all but I clearly didn't there's more to get but there's a handful there guilty as charged because I don't wash them mm. Um, always be careful where you pick berries, folks, and make sure there are no snakes. Um, let's see. Here's some more. And I have to be careful where I'm stepping. Look, they're still flowers. That's what's crazy to me. I can't believe they're still on flowers. Lots of greens. I 
don't see any more. Not that are all the way ready at least. Not that I can well, lies. Lies, lies, lies. Can you guys see that one? As soon as I think I'm done, there's more. Alright. Got all those with minimal scratches. Minimal. There's another little patch over here. But since this is more shady, I don't think any of these are ready. This one's kind of, yeah, that one's kind of more seed than anything. really have a really good taste to be very honest with you those over there aren't super sweet I didn't do anything to them but um they have a better taste I don't know if it's more the sunlight the soil or what but next year I'll fertilize those and try to see if they get a little bit better nutrition um I hadn't been back here in a few days. Look at that. These are my potatoes. Look at how beautiful those are. And those potato berries. Um, I'm not seeing. There's a little cluster of two. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I know those things are kind of heavy. They usually will get kind of weighed down. Uh, there are probably some down here, maybe, maybe not. Uh, there we go. There's some. Anyway, we got some of those. Uh, cluster there uh, and this to lay down this way I'm trying to see if there were any on this none on that but anyhow potatoes if I get my finger out of there potatoes are looking good a lot of them are actually standing up. I got some tiny little beets over here that may or may not on up to anything. These are these little guys. A little blanch or something. I probably got potato berries laying all over there. I'm just noticing where they're fill at. But anyway, so these are some beets that I planted. And um, they're, granted they're in a spot, oh God, put you in the frame. Granted they're in a spot that doesn't get very much sunlight. They could be in a much better spot. see this this long vine with these thorns this is the bane of my existence I hate this stuff every year every year you think you get it and it's not got jungle that's what this is back here jungle it's ridiculous Every two days you have to come out here and 
flame torch stuff to the ground. And day after next, it's right back. This is ridiculous. This is um a little wild onions that I usually plant. They get really tall when they're about to do their flowering thing, which is pretty cool. That's up to my waist. Here's another one. That wild garlic. I had planted blackberries at the base of this. And I'm trying to see if it came back. I don't think so. Because I planted it right there. And all of this looks like a mosquito just bit me. I killed it, but still, it got me. Um, yeah, so since all of this is just like jungle. I'm gonna just weed eat it all to the ground. But anyway, I showed you what I wanted to show you. Blackberry poke salad. Ooh, stood up too fast. I'm a little dizzy now. Um, that's about out of all I got going in the garden. The next video will probably be of me planting up some uh, planting up some cucumbers. So until next time, guys. I will see you later.